Hi guys, Dr. Gadis here. In today's class, we are going to study model analysis. First of all, what is model? It is the scaled replica of the actual structure or machine. And what is prototype? It is the actual structure or machine. So, what is model analysis? It is the analysis of models of the actual machine or structure. Why? To get the most efficient and the safest design in the most economical and easy way. And what is similitude? Similarities between a model and a prototype is known as similitude. A model is said to have similitude with its prototype when they are having following three types of similarities. First one is geometric similarity. To have this geometric similarity between a model and a prototype, a scale ratio at the corresponding points in the model and the prototype are same throughout. Where a scale ratio is the ratio of dimension of model to the corresponding dimension of the prototype. One should note that this scale ratio is also known as magnification factor in physics. Second type of similarity is kinematic similarity. To have the kinematic similarity between a model and a prototype, velocity ratio and acceleration ratio at the corresponding points in the model and the prototype are same throughout. And the third type of similarity is dynamic similarity. To have the dynamic similarity between a model and a prototype, the force ratio at the corresponding points in the model and the prototype are same throughout. For same size of turbine and pump, discharge is directly proportional to the rotational speed. How? We know that discharge is cross sectional area into velocity and velocity is directly proportional to the rotational speed. So from here we can conclude that discharge is directly proportional to the rotational speed. Now come to another one. Head is directly proportional to the square of rotational speed. How? From Newton's third equation of motion, we know that velocity is equal to this. So, from here we can get head is directly proportional to square of rotational speed. And power is directly proportional to the cube of rotational speed. How? We know that expression for kinetic energy is this. So, expression of power would be half m dot v square, where m dot is mass flow rate, which is equal to density into discharge. And we already know that discharge is directly proportional to rotational speed. And v square would be directly proportional to the square of rotational speed. So, from here we can conclude that power is directly proportional to the cube of rotational speed. So far we know that for same size of turbine or pump, discharge is directly proportional to n, heat is directly proportional to n square and power is directly proportional to n cube. From these two, we can further conclude that Discharge is directly proportional to the under root of head. That is, discharge upon under root of head is a constant and it is represented by Q u. And this constant is known as unit discharge, which is nothing but the discharge of the turbine working under unit head. And from these two, we can further conclude that power is directly proportional to the h to the power 3 by 2. That is, power upon h to the power 3 by 2 is a constant, which is represented by this. And it is known as unit power. 
which is nothing but the power of the turbine working under unit head and from here we can directly conclude that rotational speed upon under root of h is a constant and it is represented by this which is known as unit speed which is nothing but the speed of the turbine working under unit head Again, for same size of turbine or pump, discharge is directly proportional to n, head is directly proportional to n square, and power is directly proportional to n cube. From here, discharge upon n is a constant, and from here, head upon n square is another constant, and from here, power upon n cube is also a constant and from these two discharge upon under root of h is also a constant and from these two power upon h to the power 3 by 2 is also a constant sorry by mistake i have written here h to the power 3 by 4 which is actually h to the power 3 by 2 so far we were doing our analysis for the same size of turbines. What if the size of turbines are not same but they are similar in geometry, kinematics and dynamics. Well in that case we have to multiply d to the power 3 over here, d square over here, d to the power 5 over here, d square over here again d square over here then these expressions will be valid for geometrically kinematically and dynamically similar turbines or pumps of different sizes in case if you are wondering how will you remember power of d is over here then i have a simple trick for this there is a famous game of card which is known as teen do paanch teen do paanch so from that here you get d to the power teen and here you get d to the power do and here you get d to the power paanch teen do paanch since here we already have taken d to the power 2 so here we get d to the power 2 and here also we get d to the power 2 so i think now it won't be difficult for you to remember these formulas now come to the most interesting part of this analysis. Among these different sizes of the turbine, what if one is a model and another is a prototype? Then we can write discharge upon n into d to the power 3 of model is equal to discharge upon n into d to the power 3 of prototype. Similarly, Head upon n square into d square of model will be equal to head upon n square d square of prototype. Also, power upon n to the power 3 into d to the power 5 of model will be equal to power upon n cube into d to the power 5 of prototype. Also, discharge upon d square into under root of h of model will be equal to discharge upon d square into under root of h of prototype and power upon d square into h to the power 3 by 2 of model will be equal to power upon d square into h to the power 3 by 2 of prototype. One should note that here this d is for diameter and it is already been discussed that dia of model upon dia of prototype is nothing but scale ratio which is generally less than 1 but it may be greater than 1 also that's it for this class guys if you found my these video useful chances are my these videos are useful too so check out this video and subscribe my channel just click on save and do not forget to click the bell icon Thank you for watching this video till end, I really appreciate.